Howdy, youth group. I am coming to you with Cadence. Hello. From the baptistry, because this coming Sunday is Baptism Sunday, and we would love for you to be a part of that if you've never been baptized before. Because, why, Cadence? Well, it's a really big deal. It's a big deal to be baptized. And not because you get a free t-shirt, although you do get a free t-shirt. And not because it's cool to have everybody in your church family, which they're all going to be out there. And whenever you get baptized, they're going to clap and hoop and holler and cheer. Because it is a big deal. But the big deal about baptism, guys, is it's all about obedience. So here's, here's what's going on. This week, I've talked to a couple of y'all, and both of these human beings made this statement. They said, I just don't know that I'm ready to be baptized. And when I asked what ready to be baptized meant, what they meant is, I just don't think I'm spiritually mature enough. I feel like I need to grow in my faith a little bit before I do that. But the thing is, baptism was never meant to be like a, a mark of spiritual maturity. In fact, the mark of spiritual maturity is just obedience, guys. And baptism is about obedience. Here's the thing. Jesus himself got baptized, and he didn't need to be because he didn't need to be forgiven of sins. He was setting an example for us and even made the statement, I, it's, I've come to fulfill all righteousness. So one of the things that we do after we accept Christ as our Savior, that's the only precursor to baptism, after we accept Christ as our Savior, as we stand before our friends and our family at church and we say, I am now changed and I am choosing to follow Jesus as my Lord and Savior. And now I'm identifying with his life and death and resurrection. So the way baptism works, guys, it really, it, I, I know some of you might be kind of scared of it because, again, you don't want to stand in front of all these people. And I promise that baptism is a big deal, but that part's not quite the big deal, is it? No. In fact, it's honestly kind of fun because, again, they're going to hoop and holler and cheer for you, which is really, really cool. But all it works is, is you're going to get the baptism, and I'm going to baptistry, and I'm going to say some nice things about you, like, Cadence is so pretty, and she's my favorite daughter, and she's just the best. Y'all need to get to know her. Because that's what I said about Cadence, because all those things are true about her. And I'll say some true things that are really fun about you as well. But then I looked at Cadence, and I said, Cadence, what is your confession? And I said, Jesus is my Lord and Savior. And that's all you, that's all you have to say. Now, if you want to add a little bit to that, that's fine. But I know you might be nervous about talking in front of people. That part's not a big deal. We're, we give you the line to say... But the important thing is you just mean that. Jesus is your Lord and Savior. And then the next part really is simple. I take you, I dip you under the water, and bring you back up. And Cadence said earlier it's a lot easier to do that when there's water as opposed to right now. It's scarier when there's, it's scary when there's not water because she actually thought I was going to drop her. I'm not going to drop you, I promise. But this is to represent you now identifying with Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. Again, you're telling the world, I've been changed. I now belong to Jesus. It's not a spiritual maturity thing outside of you're choosing to obey Jesus, which shows a huge amount of maturity on your part. So if you've never been baptized, we would love for that to happen this coming Sunday. And that can still happen. So if you've not been, but you're interested, reach out to me. Text me if you have my phone number. If you don't, send us a private message here on Facebook or on Instagram. We'd love to talk to you about doing it this Sunday. By the way, there's three others from the youth group that are getting baptized this Sunday. We're very excited about Naomi and Marie Tony and Jacob all getting dunked, and we'd love to add you to the fray. There's a couple of adults getting baptized as well, so don't feel like, oh, is this just a kid thing? It's not. Some of you moms and dads, maybe you've never been baptized and you're interested too. We'd love to make that happen. But at the end of the day, know this, man, we love you. We're here to answer your questions, and we want to continue to see you grow in Christ, and obedience is always where we grow. So follow Jesus in this way if you've never done that before. Love you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.